What is up, people? I am almost certainly real. I've seen people asking how to install mods for Rogue Tower in comments. Also, I am about to release a custom map mod, so I thought I'd do a real quick video. How do you get mods running in Rogue Tower? <clears throat> Um, there's a couple ways. We're going to use the Thunderstorm Mod Manager. It's what I've been using. It works really well. I will post all of the links that are needed for this in the description of the video. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and we are just going to download this. Save file. Okay, we've got that downloaded. And now let's go ahead and install it. Uh, desktop short shortcut. Why not? Terms of service probably agreeing there to uh, sell my children. I already have Overwolf installed, but it's going to install the Thunderstorm mod manager now for us. Okay, now we've got this uh, Thunderstorm mod manager launched. What we're going to do is we're going to search for Rogue Tower right here. Um, I already have a profile, but let me let me just make a new one. I guess it saved a little bit of my stuff. Say uh, Rogue Tower Profile. I don't really know why you'd want to have more profiles. Um, but anyways, we go into this Select Profile, and now I have no bonds. So let's install some. Of so the very first thing you want to do is you want to get this BEP in X Rogue Tower, Tower thing. Basically, they all require it. <coughs> um, this is kind of like all the mods use this mod to run and some of them correctly depend on it um, and then we have a bunch of other mods here so we're going to go ahead and install what are some mods that i like i really like the speed up mod so we're going to go ahead and download and install that um, that i think is kind of critical also the respec um, that lets us kind of mess around with stuff download with dependencies and then obviously the mod that I made we will go ahead and download that I actually to be honest I still have to test this I don't even know if it's gonna work um, but we've got those downloaded and now you see over here here in installed so we've got all of these mods here and then what we're gonna do over in here the start modded so you can enable and disable different ones as well so you can like kinda turn things on and off but then you're just gonna go ahead and click start modded launch via steam we've got rogue tower coming up now we're gonna hit play single defense the game is loading and once the game loads ideally all of our mods should be installed so we see this little fast forward thing let me just build a couple ballistas so we don't lose instantly go ahead and hit expand we can go ahead and increase that speed so that's one of my favorite mods is it speeds the entire game up. Slow but sure. And let's see, is my mod working? So the default map for the custom maps one is sort of the smallest viable map. So it looks like it's working. This is technically a map that you can get in um, the base game. It's very unlikely that you'll get this map but it is possible. And we'll just keep spamming these. Mortar, why not? We're not actually gonna play this out. Yeah, and so it looks like it's looks like that worked out. And now that you've got mods installed, I'm just gonna exit out of this once I get this portal. Look out, don't care. Yeah, so that's, that's my mod there, this custom map mod. One thing to keep in mind is a lot of the mods have uh, config files. So when you first when you first launch, when you first download the mods, they won't have config files. You have to actually launch the mod once, right? So here's the mod I have. And you can kind of edit this config, right? And so this is actually how you choose what map you want to run. It's not ideal, but basically you just you have to write, uh, can you not copy and paste these? That's annoying. Um, anyways, maybe I'll look at fixing that up somehow. I wish I could add a drop down here, but I can't. One other thing to keep in mind is also if you go over into the mods thing and then this view on website, there are generally a lot of the mods have kind of readmes associated with them. So you can see here, um, 
I've got a little bit of stuff here kind of explaining how to use the mod. I'll maybe make a little bit of uh, another video about my mod um, and kind of how, how to use it and how to make your own custom map. I'm probably going to change that up. Um, right now it's just kind of a first version. Get something out there people can play if they want. Thanks for watching.